Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would walk you guys through the master books curriculum that we have for kindergarten and kind of tell you what I love about it, but also why we stopped using it. <laughs> that I wanted to get from Masterbooks was the kindergarten curriculum. This curriculum is called Simply K and I was super excited about it whenever I saw it. I still actually love it. I love the whole idea of Masterbooks being something that is more mastery approached rather than just trying to memorize a subject or memorize something about it and then taking the test and moving on. They truly have the system laid out to help your kids master each section that they talk about. And actually, uh, we're still using master books for our seventh graders. So I'm not completely against master books. I'm just, this is just kind of telling you why we stopped using it for kindergarten this year. It might be something that we pick back up next year. So anyways, Simply K is the main curriculum book. And literally, if you buy this, you don't need to get anything else. Everything that you need to teach your kid, um, everything they need to know for kindergarten is in this book. And so I really like that, but it walks you through everything. You can literally open and go for the most part. At the beginning of the lesson, they have this supplies list that shows you everything that you need to get or gather. And it also shows you the objectives for the week. And then also shows you like uh, at a glance for the memory work um, that you'll be learning as well. And then, You'll hear the kids in the background, but it's fine. I'm a mom. So then as you get into the lesson, you'll see that it just, it literally like you open it and you read it. You just read whatever it says. And then they do their little activity at the bottom. And I actually love it. It's such an open and go. I can sit down and read to him the different things about it. He does the little activities. And for the most part, like he, he enjoyed it, but the thing that frustrated him the most. Hey y'all, my name is Sheila and I am the mama behind createyourhomeschool.com. I am interrupting myself in this video because I wanna tell you guys about the new resource that we have available at Create Your Homeschool. If you're anything like me, you have tried a thousand different homeschool curriculums. You never seem to get through all of them all the way and for whatever reason, you just can't seem to find that one curriculum that makes your heart sing and makes your family just enjoy their learning experience. And so that is why I've created this space, Create Your Homeschool, so that I can equip you with different tutorials and how-to videos and things that you can use in your own homeschool to create a homeschool that you love. And I wanna tell you about the new resource that I've just released, and it is a five-day email challenge that helps you and gives you all of the tips, all the steps that I take in our own homeschool to create a unit study. And if unit studies are something that you haven't tried before or that you have tried before and you don't wanna spend the money on them, this is a great free resource that you can use to create a unit study in just five days and teach it to your kids. It can be on anything. So it is a five day email challenge. So you'll get an email for five days every single day. And you'll also get different freebies and resources inside of there, like a list of 60 different unit study ideas that you can cover with your homeschool. There's also a unit study planner printable that you can use. And then I've also created a Trello board template that you guys can copy into your own Trello account. I kind of walk you through the basics of Trello so that you know exactly how to use it and in the best way for your homeschool. So I hope that you will click the link down below and go sign up for this five day email challenge. I really think you're going to love it. All right, let's get back to the video. The thing that frustrated him the most, I think, was just sitting and listening to me read. You might have a kid that just is a really great listener as far as like listening to something being read to them, but this is just such a long time to sit there and read and keep their attention so that they they will actually sit and do the activities after you finish reading. So that's one of the things that I did not like for this age. But as far as this being like a complete cur uh, curriculum for your kindergartner, 100% it is. And every once in a while we will pull this out and we will do a random lesson in it. I don't go in order. I'll just do a random lesson uh, that looks interesting to him and then we will move on. But it really is like a fun uh, curriculum. The other thing that I got from Master Books was the Foundation Phonics book. And you don't have to have this for the Simply K curriculum, but 
it is helpful for teaching your child to read and they introduce it about lesson 20 I think in the Simply K curriculum. This has been something that we've loved as well. However, I've had more success by just sitting down and helping our five-year-old read through like a Bob book than sitting down and doing one of these lessons. But let me just show you kind of what the lesson looks like. They just, they go through and they say, again, it's open and go. It gives you everything you need to say as you're reading it. They'll look at the letter. You'll tell them the sound that it makes. They'll copy you um, and you go through and they have some worksheets in here as well. But again, it's just so like reading, read to me heavy. And sitting down and going through a Bob book with him is a lot more successful as far as teaching him sounds and blending and reading. One thing that I do like to do with the Bob books is he, even though the pictures are really plain, which I appreciate because it's less distracting, one of the things that I've been doing with him recently is on our chalkboard, I will write out one word at a time and then he will read it to me by the sound. So I'll point out each letter and he'll make the sound and then we'll blend it together and then he will read it. And so after I've shown him each word by itself on the chalkboard, I'll show the picture in the Bob book and then I will show him that this is the, like these are the words that he just read and they're on the page and we read the page together. So there's less of him trying to guess what the word says based on the picture and more of him actually looking at the letters and realizing that they make sounds which make words when you put them together. The last thing that I was really excited about for Masterbooks that I wanted to get and literally the only reason why I wanted to get this was because we have done the Gather Round units. This devotional More Than Words by Rebecca Spooner who is the author of the Gather Round Homeschool curriculum. We haven't done anything in this yet. <laughs> Because again, it's a lot of reading, even though they have, she did like an incredible job adding different worksheets and things like that to keep the kids engaged. It's just really heavy in reading. And I, I feel like that he is more of a um, hands-on learner than somebody who's just going to listen and read and be able to understand what I'm saying. So I try to look for things that are more activity focused, like the gather round units. They are more like uh, coloring and cutting and gluing stuff. Um, and so he really appreciates that type of work rather than just sitting down listening to mommy read. That's kind of our curriculum haul for Masterbooks Kindergarten. I hope that that gave you a uh, insight as as to kind of like what Masterbooks will offer for your family, but also the other things that I said as far as things that might not work for your family. So if you have a kid who is very hands-on, the mastery approach is amazing, but Masterbooks is probably not something that you want to do with them all of the time. Like I will still pull these out and I will work through them with him on a day-to-day -day basis, but I won't do it as like a main curriculum for us for kindergarten. So that might change. Again, our seventh grader is doing all master books and she hasn't complained yet. So <laughs> she must like them. Speaking of our seventh grader, she has started her own uh, Etsy shop with different jewelry and um, just fun things that she's making like out of resin. She's learning how to make stuff with that. And so she has a uh, Instagram account that she would like for me to shout out. So uh, if you if you have a daughter who likes that kind of stuff and want to kind of see the behind the scenes of how she makes certain things, she's going to be posting all of that on her Instagram. I'll link it below and you guys can go check it out. And as always, don't forget that it is your homeschool. So create it how you want. <music>